Whoa! Oh, yeah! Off the poop deck with you! Oh, I love it! They just rolled right off the poop deck! And so, Paulina Pudgewood, the heroine of our story, mother of dinos, friend of the apes, tamer of gargantuan spinosauruses, and all-around dynamite gal, did finally find her cowgirl hat tucked away in a dusty old corner at the farmhouse. And though she was quite happy that she had found it, she was also rather sad and by the... Really? Hugh Flung Poo, did you have to do that during my intro? It was just getting good. I was getting all emotional. <laughs> anyway, so yes, she did find her hat, but that made her very sad. Sad that she had to leave her old life behind in Arizona, despite all the zombies. And she was pulled away from that life. <laughs> and mysteriously ended up here in Ark. This world, this strange world of Ark with dinosaurs and uh, poofling and monkeys. And uh, you, you know, you know the story. <laughs> so my friends, today Paulina has an idea. She's going to build a raft and try to find her way home. You're gonna sail the seven seas, see what lies beyond, whoa, beyond the oceans, and maybe discover some means of returning back to Arizona, even with the zombies. That's a plug for my seven days to die. <laughs> so let's get started, guys. Welcome back to Ark. This is Paulina Punchwood and Hugh Flung Poo, second mate. And we're gonna build up this raft. And uh, we've got the first mate, Mia Flung Poo, over on the beach. Uh, down that away, and we're gonna go catch up with her and see how things are go moving along because she was put in charge of gathering materials for this trip. And we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go build this raft right now. But first, let me just grab a few items here, and uh, probably gonna take us all day to build this raft. Which, by the way, is a brand spanking new item in Ark. That was added over the weekend. And you know how we took our trip down the river? Um, and I talked about how much I really love water travel in games. And in real life, of course. But in games, too, it's quite fun. So I'm very happy that they added this raft. It's awesome. All right, do we need to stop here at the farm for anything? I don't think so. Let's just go right to the beach. We'll go to the farm later. Because we are going to have to stock up for food. Oh, oh, here we got Cecil the Sailor. And first mate, Mia Flung Poo. Glad to see you're still alive. <laughs> so Cecil kept you safe and sound. That's good. So how, how are things? How'd it go? Let's just drop the second mate, Hugh. Uh, Mia, if you want to show me around. Yeah, let's go. Okay, right here. This is everything, right? So Mia was put in charge of gathering materials to make the raft. All right, looks good. We've got all of the uh, building supplies, and we have some furniture and some things here. We're gonna make. We're gonna turn this into a, an awesome pontoon boat. Um, so we're gonna be able to sleep on it too. We have some. We have a preserving bin to store our food on it and keep it uh, well well preserved and stocked so it doesn't spoil on us on our long trip around Ark campfire to stay warm. We've got some extra ammunition here for the weapons storage boxes. Extra canteen. Uh, actually, you can make a canteen, can't you? Well, I can't yet, but we're going to soon. All right, that's excellent. All right, let's put this stuff away right now. I don't need it in my inventory. And uh, we will stock up the ship when we're ready to roll. But first things first, we got to make the dang thing, don't we, Mia Flung Poo? You better poop here, not on the poop deck. You better get that out of your system. No pooping on the deck. <laughs> Yeah, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I need my sailor hat on, too. <laughs> we got my sailing garb on, anyway, for Pauline here. We got our pirate pants and our pirate bandana. This is the captain's bandana. <laughs> we got first mate Mia and second mate Hugh. <laughs> and then Cecil's coming along as kind of like our little uh, raft in case we need to go to shore or something. All right, let's make this thing, shall we? Um... We're pretty close to level 60. At level 60, we're going to be able to make a, uh, a saddle for uh, Sally Sally Finn, the Spino. I can't wait for that. <gasps> there it is. It's 11 engrams. We're going to go ahead, ahead and make it. It's a prefab. Check it out. 
It's a whole kit, and all you need to do is slap it together with the proper materials. <laughs> Very little crafting involved, really, which is pretty awesome. Uh, what else do we need? We need the fibers and hides. I should have everything here. Yes, we do. Whoops. Good job, Mia Flung Poo. You did a good job gathering all the supplies. Bam! That's it. Let's slap this thing together. It looks like the uh, instructions are written in monkey, so we're going to have to get um, Mia Flung Poo to help me out here. Where does this thing go, Mia? This thing right here. What, 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 no, this part. Oh, oh good. Got it. <laughs> oh, no. It's super heavy. 85 pounds for this boat. All right, let's drop some stuff in down there. Oh, I can't move. All right. No problem. We'll drop it and get it closer to the water. You have to deploy it in the water. All right, we're closer now. Pick it up here. I got my feet in the water. So we should be able to deploy it here. Sheepers. It's like a little uh, catamaran. It's got the little outriggers. Oh, there it is. <gasps> oh, it's a beaut. Isn't it lovely? First mate, Mia. Let's get on it and check it out. Whoa. Whoa, so excited. I almost leapt right off the other end. Yep, it's a kit. You put it all together. You got the steering column, uh, steering stick <laughs> with the rudder. We got the outriggers on the sides. Nice base here. We got the mast and the sail. And now, my friends, this is where the real fun stuff begins. So now that that's done, now that we have our raft... Um, we're actually going to do some building on it because, like I said, I want to I want to turn this into like a, a mobile home. It's going to be like a pontoon boat that we can sail around on. We can have all our goodies on here, um, some food and refreshments, and that sort of thing. Uh, because our our journey here is going to we're going to be like Magellan. We're going to try to circumnavigate Ark. You see, Pauline is not aware that it's actually an island until she goes out and tries to. Uh, sail away and find home but don't tell her don't tell her we want her to figure this out on her own that um arc is actually an island magellan of course ferdinand magellan was the first sailor uh at least the first expedition i can't jump hey yeah 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 all right i have to drop some of this stuff let's just drop the those for now let's just put the pillars up first um the first expedition to sail to circumnavigate earth right i recall from my uh my history classes back in Arizona, right, Paulina? Back when she... Well, she wasn't really a very good student. She was preferring to be out shooting her guns and um, hunting and fishing and partying and that kind of thing. Let's put one right here on the edge. I just wish I could see exactly where I was going with this. Um, oh, now it's snapping. Okay, I put one down and now it wants to snap. All right, snap to it. Snap to your slim, Jim. There we go. Now we're snapping in place. You put one down, and the rest snap into place. I like it. Awesome. So, yeah, Magellan... Um, Magellan actually never completed the trip, if I recall correctly. He started with five, five boats. Ferdinand Magellan, by the way, was Portuguese, which uh, I am also of Portuguese descent. So we have something in common there. And um, he was uh, he was given five ships by this by the Span by Spain, by the Spanish king. I think it was was it King Charles, I believe. I don't know. We're really testing my my uh, my history. I loved history though. I was a big history buff. I still love history. And uh, in fact I was gonna I wanted to potentially be a history teacher or professor someday but that didn't work out um <laughs> sometimes things just don't work out the way you want them to um oh that looks pretty cool doesn't it yeah that less looks good i want to get a ladder up to the second floor so we can put the rest of the uh pillars and stuff up on top can i still i can still walk and jump let me see can i jump Woo! yeah and <laughs> nice Let's get that ladder out. So yeah, Ferdinand um, Magellan never actually completed the uh, the expedition because he was killed. Oh no, the ladder doesn't go all the way down. 
All right, well, let's put the ladder here. Maybe I can still probably get up there anyway. I just don't like the way that looks, how it's hanging. I hope this works. Yeah, it still works. Good. All right, looking good so far. All right, let's get up to the second floor and put the rest of the pillars up. And this is where we're going to put the, um, the bed. So they, they do automatically snap into place once you put that first one down. Um, let's see. That's not very high, but it will be high enough to walk in. And I suppose I could put it a little higher, but let's just try it right now and see how that is. That's fine. That's fine. We're not going to get too picky here with the pontoon boat. We want to get rolling on our expedition. Circumnavigation of the world of Ark. Only the punch would. All right, on board the Victoria. Actually, we're gonna call it uh, the Arctoria. Victoria was the name of the only ship of the original five that made it around uh, around Earth. They lost four of them. So the Victoria. Um, again, Ferdinand Magellan was actually killed and never finished the trip. <laughs> killed in battle in the Philippines. So, uh, that's kind of sad, but anyway. It is what it is. Alright, so there we go. That's the main structure. Pretty cool stuff, right? Let's throw a bed down and the rest of the furniture. And then we'll get, a, we'll get rolling. So I turned off the, uh, light shafts and I can't see the sun. So if I do this, right... Light shafts. Oh, oh, darn it. That's to shut it off. I'm going to turn it back on. Light shafts should show me the sun now. So there's the sun, and it's going down, and it's now raining as well. Um, I'm going to leave the light shafts on, because I'm not sure how much of an impact that has on FPS, actually. But let's get rolling, because we're almost out of time here. Let's put the bed on, and the preserving bin, and a couple of these. The storage bins. So, uh, still jump. Oh, oh, Paulina's gonna go. It's time, Paulina. We christened Arctoria. Woohoo! I know you're supposed to smash like champagne on the ship's bow or something like that, right? But we don't have any champagne. We just have poo. <laughs> we have christened the ship. Awesome. All right, let's get our preserving bin out. We'll fill it up with some goodies. And the uh, the boxes here. Yeah, that's cool. And now let's go put the bed up top. Awesome. And where's my bed? And I have another um, storage chest here too. So let's put the bed like right here. That looks good. And can I fit the box in it? No, I cannot fit the box there. And I can put it over here. All right. Awesome. So now we can put stuff in here, like our clothing and so forth. All right, now for the torches. The standing torches, that is. And put one over here in the back. Put one over here in this rear. Make sure I can still squeeze through. Um, let's throw some thatch in there. These will be our running lights for nighttime. And then another torch. I can get one right in here. And fill that up with some thatch as well. All right. Woohoo! Arr, it's me mighty sea vessel, the Arcturier. Ain't she a beaut? <laughs> yes, I agree, sea soul. So let's um, let's call it a day now that night is here. Paulina does not want to work through the night. We'll finish this up in the morning, but for right now, we're gonna throw uh, we're gonna throw the first mate, Mia Flung Poo, on the ship, as well as second mate, Hugh Flung Poo. <laughs> And they're going to sleep here tonight and keep guard. Hey! Dang trilobites, get out of the way. Um, they're going to keep guard on Arcturia. And uh, I'm going to go sleep in my bed. 
cozy cottage bed, and Polina has some things to square away with the other kids anyway. Oh, you know what? Let's turn on the lights, too. Let's see how the running lights look. Yeah, you like it, don't you? Mia. I know, it's a beaut. Uh, let's turn you on. Did they put any thatch in you? I sure did. Now, I have a fireplace here in my in, in my hands, and I want to put that somewhere, but I'm going to do that in the morning. I'm not sure. Hey! Mia, you scurvy dog. You better swab the poop deck, girl. <laughs> I'll demote you. Uh, actually, she just wanted to christen the poop deck as well, which is perfectly fine. Uh, you know, monkey see, monkey do. Paulina did already do that, so you can't really fault her. All right. Oh, my gosh. That is so awesome. I cannot wait to sail away. Uh, but there's still a few more things to do, guys. So, like I said, Paulina's going to go to bed now. And uh, we'll go up to Cozy Cottage. And then we'll head out um, at first light on our Magellan Circumnavigation of Arc. Let's take a look at the map, by the way. Look at that. We got a long way to go. And by the time we get back, Paulina should be level... 60. Oh my gosh, it might even be 60 by the morning. <laughs> and then we'll uh, we'll make our saddle for Sally Finn, the uh, Spino, and then we'll go off and do some some hunting and adventuring and all that. But this is I think this is gonna be fun. Anyway, all right, uh, I'm gonna head home, get a quick Z's, and we'll be right back. Cecil, keep guard of the ship, please. Rise and shine, Captain Punchwood. Come on, girl, get up, get up. Get out of bed! No sleeping in this morning. Looks like you had a rough night, though, huh? You're excited for this trip, aren't you? We've got a long journey ahead of us, and we got to get rolling while we have a whole day ahead. So let's put your pirate garb on, your yellow bandana, and black pirate pants, <laughs> and get rolling. Let's close the windows and lock it up tight. Cozy Cottage. Needs to be locked down so we don't get uh, burglarized while we're away. It's going to be a long, long journey. Oh, yeah, get that door up there. Close that. And kill the lights. Save on energy. Now, before we go, we have, we have to go make sure our kids have a lot of food. And, in fact, we're going to top off Paulina here with some steaks. We're going to grab some citrus fruit so we don't get scurvy. And we also have to head down to the farm and, like I said, make sure that the kids have a lot of food. Let's lock that door. Okay, good. So that, uh, you know, in the event social services comes around, they don't find a bunch of starving kids. And uh, then they'll take them away from us, right? Well, the mother of dinos, after all, it would be very embarrassing. Everybody here is fully stocked. I'm pretty sure Sally, Icky Poo, and Icky Doo have plenty of food. So let's just head over to the farm, and I'm going to build a, um, a feeding trough. This is a relatively new item added to Ark, maybe, I don't know, three or four updates ago that allows you to uh, fill it up with food and just leave it nearby, and your dinosaurs and other animals will be able to feed out of it. They just pull food out when they're hungry, just like that. So I think I'm going to put Oh, hold on, chicken. Bam. Tough guy. So we'll put a feeding trough right over here somewhere, and uh, this whole gang can eat while Paulina is away, because this is going to be a long trip. What are you hiding in here for? Get out of the house. Well, not really a house anymore, but you, know, you get the idea. All right, let's find this feeding trough. And there we go. 12 engrams. He gads. All right, well, it needs to be done. Paulina would be a horrible mother if she didn't leave food behind for the kids. <laughs> Uh, let's see, 120 wood, 60 thatch. I think I have everything already. Okay, yeah, I know. I know, I'm, I'm gonna be leaving soon. You just hold your horsies. Uh, Mighty Joe can't wait for me to leave because he's, he think he's planning a party. He's gonna have a big, uh, he's gonna invite all his ape friends. All right, that's it, guys, that's it. Pretty cool stuff. Let's just throw the meat in here, very easy. And the stuff in here lasts, I think, four times la longer than normal. Um, hopefully that food actually lasts till I get back. It should. So we're going to put it right here, and that will feed everyone in the area. It works through walls, so they don't actually have to go to the feeding trough. They just have to be near it. Something like, I think it's like nine foundations in length. All right, kids. Mom is out of here. I'm going to put, uh, who's the oldest? Rusty. Rusty's in charge. So listen to him, do what he says, and if he gives me a bad report, 
on any one of you, then uh, you're gonna you're gonna catch a, a spanking or something. Maybe a timeout. Yeah, I guess we can't really spank kids anymore, can we? No. No. Social services come and take them away. So. <laughs> All right. So let me just get everything. Ooh, I gotta shut these lights off. Let me uh, let me just transfer all the items onto the ship, and then we'll get ready. There's nothing else to build. I'm just gonna throw this food in here. We've got our citrus fruits and our jerky for Paulina, and I have some spark powder in one of these bins. Yeah, right here. Yep. So here's what I'm gonna do. Just transfer everything over. I'm actually gonna hang on to that. Uh, all the extra ammo. Thatch, all of it. Don't need that. Don't need that helmet. Um, my armor is actually. I'm gonna bring this. Uh oh, it's heavy. Oh, I can still move. Um, yeah, I actually have my armor on. I think Donnie. So we're gonna leave it on him. Donnie's coming along for this trip. Whoop! There we go. Hold on, Mia Flung Poo. I know we're going in a second here, so she just can't wait. Hey, hey, hey! Don't you be pooping on the poop deck, you scurvy dog! I'll throw you to the sharks! <laughs> I'll make you walk the plank, I will! Oh, wait, we don't have a plank. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> Alright, put the spark powder in here to keep that uh, preserved. And I think we're ready to roll, guys. I think we are ready to roll! One last look. And I don't know how much of the actual voyage we're going to record because I'm, well, pretty much out of time. <laughs> Unfortunately. I might do like a montage or something like that. We'll see. Um, maybe just, uh, I'll just play some music and, and put a montage together. Now we're going to put Donnie right here. Oh. Got to make sure his feet touch and he slows down. Oh, look at the megalodons. It's okay, because they won't bother us on here. Stay! Woo! Ow. Okay, that hurt. Perfect perch for you, Donnie. And like I said, Donnie has my armor. In case we get in any fights. But, I'm bringing Cecil the Sailor along to provide any necessary muscle. In case we run into any problems out here. Let's see. Now, I can... My understanding is you can put dinosaurs on this thing. <laughs> can you move over a little bit, big guy? You on? It's going to ride right there on that outrigger. Look at that tail. He is enormous. All right, I think we're ready to roll. This is it. This is it. The maiden voyage. Au revoir. Goodbye, everybody. Have a quick snack. Make sure I have some water. Of course, we will be surrounded in ocean water, which is perfectly uh, palatable in this game. <laughs> and now, my friends, I think it's time to go. So here we go. Captain Punchwood, I hope this works. I just feel like I'm forgetting something. <laughs> and like a real sailor, we're going, we're going barefoot. I have Hugh, second mate. I've got my first mate, Mia. We've got Donnie up in the roost. And we have our muscle, Cecil the Sailor. And how cool is this? Oh, this is fabulous. Oh my gosh, this is so great. <laughs> Whoa, oh yeah, off the poop deck with you. Oh, I love it. They just rolled right off the poop deck. Yeah, okay, you won't be walking the plague now, Mia, but you keep that up. She's cleaning the poop deck, that's awesome. Look at them both just looking out, watching. So watching the uh, the horizon here. I'm gonna try to turn. I can't turn with that camera like that. Hold on. Oh, there goes some more poop right off the poop deck. Yeah. And there, there it goes. It's one way to keep it clean. This is amazing. I love it. I love this so much. Okay, guys. I think I figured it out. I can put this sign here on the second floor and spin it around. And hopefully I can lean over and paint the name without falling in and getting eaten by a megalodon. So we're going to call the Arctoria in honor of the Victoria, which again was the sole ship from Ferdinand uh, Magellan's expedition that actually made it around the Earth. So there we go. Arctoria. Perfect. Now, let's get rolling. How are we doing up there, Donnie? 
<laughs> He's up there in the uh, in the pteranodon nest. Pteranodon nest. All right, so this is it, guys. I think we're gonna call it quits right here. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. We'll see you next time. I don't really have uh, enough time to do any actual expedition. Whoa! Someone's tossing poo over the side. Good job. Um, so we might do some of that in the next episode, or um, maybe I'll add at the very end of this one a few highlights. Maybe some clips with a little bit of music. It depends on how much cutting and editing I do and how much time we have left. But this is just amazing. I love it. Whoa, look at that shark down there. Very, very scary. <laughs> look at Cecil's tail! It's like an extra rudder. Just hanging down like that. I don't think he's enjoying this ride. <laughs> Got his tail between his legs. Alright, folks, this is Paulie in a Punchwood. Captain Punchwood to you. Arr, me mateys, scurvy dogs, and all that. And we'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed. I'm trying to get a good picture of her face, but there it is. <laughs> awesome! This is so exciting! Alright, let's make one quick stop here and check the map and see how we're doing. Oh, we got a long way to go. We got a long way to go. We gotta go all the way around. Alright, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. Hold on, Donnie. It's a rough ride. Got some waves up ahead.